Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Get That Bread and today it's a bit of a controversial episode. Um, I'm going to be installing a catch can on my Navara, but first, before we get to the install, uh, let's talk about the controversy. If you guys are anything like me, before you do a modification to your car, you'll actually do a fair bit of research beforehand. Um, so I'll jump on like Facebook forums, uh, jump on Google, do a Google search and um, just yeah, poke around and see what's what the what the go is um then when it comes to a catch can man oh man so if you don't know what a catch can does most engines have what's called an exhaust gas recirculation system or an egr and essentially it's just pumping some of the exhaust gases back into the motor and this is just going to sit between that system and the intake and filter and hopefully keep a whole bunch of oil out of the intake one of the Facebook groups I use to do research on modifications for the Navara is the Modified MP300s group. So much information in this group. It's been around for a very long time. If we do a search in the search bar for catch cans, you'll get an insane amount of posts. Let's take a look at some of the controversial comments I was able to find. Don't put a catch can on, it'll cause more problems than it's worth. You won't get any warranty, but if you do some research, some catch cans increase crankcase pressure slightly and some don't. Depends on the type of filter. I don't know what's going on, but I've been told that installing a catch can on an MP300 is not a good decision. I put a catch can on and a week later my rear main started leaking. Someone was making a positive post about catch cans and someone jumped to the comments saying you won't be saying that when your rear main seal goes. There's a reason I still haven't fitted mine. Probably also the same reason I haven't done a rear main. So it appears there's a theory that a catch can will cause your rear main seal to leak. Now, don't get me wrong, there are positive comments about catch cans, but it does start to make you like question, should you actually do this modification looking at these negative comments? So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT if I should install a catch can on the nav. It's 2023, AI has taken over the world, so let's see what it's got to say. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, uh, jump online and check it out. Uh, the future is now, that's all I'll say. So I got to asking it a couple of questions and I was kind of surprised with the answers I was getting. So um, as you can see here, it did um, say that while it's theoretically possible for a catch can installation to affect the rear main seal, it would generally be an indirect influence rather than the direct cause. I went on to ask why people actually think a catch can can cause a rear main leak and it came up with a few responses of improper installation, misdiagnosis and anecdotal evidence. And then I finished by just flat out asking, do you think I should install a catch can? In the end it did respond with ultimately the decision to install a catch can is yours but it's always wise to gather information and seek professional advice to make an informed decision. So it turns out AI can't help me, that being said. I volunteer as tribute. The time has come for us to select one courageous young YouTuber for the honor of representing Nissan Navaras in the 74th annual Hunger Games. <clears throat> JP captured. Where are you, dear? Come on up. Well, come on up. Joe! Joe! I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute. So let this video be the line in the sand where we can say a catch can did or did not cause a rear main seal to leak. So my Navara is a 2020 model. It's got 40,000 Ks on the clock, hasn't had a rear main leak. Let's chuck the catch can on and let's, let's ride the roller coaster. All right, so in the kit, uh, you get your catch can, you get all the hoses that you need, you get a bunch of hardware to put it together and you get the bracket, other part of the brackets over here. Um, so I've got, my isolated switch for the winch sitting right where that bracket needs to go 
Uh, so I'm gonna have to get a bit creative with where that's gonna go. Because the catch can can't really go anywhere else, so. Hmm, wish me luck. Alright, so that should sit something. Something like that in there. So you're just gonna take the three bolts off. And now we can bolt it back on. So my isolator switch can potentially bolt up on this side because the catch can will be on the other side. So it might just work here. All right, so we've got the bracket in the car. Now we need to assemble the catch can. Um, so I've just made sure it's orientated the correct way. And first of all, we'll attach the drain plug to the bottom. And then comes with a little plug as well that go on the end of it, so let's get those on. Essentially, is this one here? It's covered in so it's sort of like a heat shield there. So we're going to take that one off and essentially reroute it into the catch can, and then it routes back as per normal. So we're removing this entire pipe. So it comes off intake there and the intake further down in here apologies for the lack of lighting so it's about half hour later um, obviously running out of daylight this pipe replaces this one down in here and just runs straight to the intake pipe which is son of a bitch to get to all the way down in there. So I thought I would take off the intake pipe that runs down off the filter, but I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how the bottom is held on. I've undone everything that I can see that might be holding it on, but it, uh, yeah, it's not working. So I'm gonna have to come back to this another day. Yeah. 